Y'all, so Glitch recently posted a teaser right now about Murder Drones, episode 6, and it's about an elevator. Now, this one's actually quite interesting, because in episode 4, Uzi, when she was communicating with her Roboroach, they were both talking about the elevator. Now, this Roboroach is none other than Nori Dorman's very own Roboroach. Now, why am I assuming that this Roboroach was her mother's or somehow was in contact with her mother? Well, if you zoom in onto the very end, like at the corner, you'll see the number 002 and a skull beside it. That indicates the same color that Nori had and the same number, like the same serial number that Nori had. Not to mention, it's actually a good thing, because in episode 4, we did not get to see the elevator. It was just cut off with some joke. But if her mother worked at this elevator, or the place where it leads to, that would be pretty good, because it would be such a lore-filled episode, and not to mention the mysteries in episode 4, most of them would be revealed and uncovered. I mean, the place where the elevator leads to could have anything disassembled drones, unsolved mysteries, or even more clues to the absolute solver. And as much as I would love to say this place is an underground facility for JC Jensen, I think it's mostly wrong. From what I could tell, this place looks a bit similar to Elliot Manor. With the red, yellow, and brown shade, it mostly gives off scenes we would get from Elliot Manor. But I feel like this elevator would lead us to the lab Uzi and the Robo Roach were discussing about. Oh, and about the discussion the Robo Roach and Uzi had, they mentioned a proximity meter. At first, I was like, what the hell is a proximity meter? I searched in Google and this is what I got. It says a proximity card reader are contactless devices that read a card data to grant or deny access to a user. Proximity cards are part of an access control system that also includes a proximity card reader and an access control. Which this all hit me. The proximity card is the key, like Doll mentioned, the Roa Roach, basically, or the card. Now, this Roa Roach, like I mentioned, is Nori's. She is the user that can grant access of this so-called machine or control system. What if this lab they were speaking of had many machines that had something to do with the zombie drones or absolute solver that was under Nori's full control because she had the key that made her activate the machine completely? What if this machine is the reason why Copper 9 is all destroyed? And not to mention, why does Tessa want to reactivate and turn on this machine again? What if this machine, like Sin, has something to do with the singularity, where Nori mentions in this case, the singularity would mean that the absolute solver is so unstoppable where it controls all of the robots throughout the murder drone series, like how the absolute solver mentioned to Uzi, you are our cute puppets. What do you guys think? Is this theory good? Is it bad? Is it accurate? Do you have any ideas? What do you guys think?